Welcome back guys, this is Benito and this is my fifth tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use subplots. So I'll teach you how to plot like this so you can compare the different graphs and plot like this um, so you can uh, you know, do more comparison. Uh, so let's head over to MATLAB and let's clear this. This is what I was doing before. So we'll start by defining x equals 1, 0 starting from 0 all the way up to 100 and we'll say the first uh, plot that we want to do is y equals x plus uh, x plus 5 okay and we'll do plot x comma y semicolon run this and you'll get one plot which is x equals uh, a y equals x plus 5 now I want to show another graph underneath it so I want to show y2 which is equal to x plus 10 so I can compare the difference and we'll do plot uh, x against y2 this time and if we click run now what's going to happen is you're, you're going to get the uh, plot of y2 which is x plus 10 so you can see the intersection is at 10 so what MATLAB is doing is it's plotting this and then it's uh, overwriting the plot with this new plot so it's reading the last line so what we want to do is do a subplot so to do this uh, you can type in help subplot and this will give you uh, what this will explain what subplot is so it's saying creates access in titled positions so and it uh, it's defined using m n and p so if you type in the subplot function and in the brackets if you define the m, n, and p, which is m by n matrix. So it's a matrix that you're defining, and the p is the position of the uh, plot that you're trying to plot. Okay, so I'll explain, uh, you'll understand this when we're doing this. So if you want to uh, do a subplot, then you want to make sure you put the subplot in front, in, on top of the plot function. So it can be anywhere on top. Uh, I just put it just above. So we do subplot, and this time, what we want to do is we want to show two graphs so the rows should be two and the column should be one so we create creating a two by one matrix essentially and in each of those elements we're put, putting a plot instead of a, a graph uh, instead of a number so we'll say uh, we want two rows and one column and this is the position and we want it to be in the first position which means in row one column one Okay, so we'll come down here and then we'll do the same again. We'll type subplot and then we want to put it in the same matrix, two by one matrix. And this time I want the position to be two. So it will be the second graph in the figure. So you can see um, we have two uh, graphs shown in one figure. So this entire thing is one figure and these are the two plots inside this figure. So let's say I want to add one more. Uh, we'll say y3 equals x plus 15. And we'll do plot again. Uh, x comma y3. Now, if we try to run this, you can see we're, not, we're missing one plot. That's because uh, we've only defined the matrix to be 2 by 1. We want to show 3 plots so that means we have to define a subplot of 3 by 1 so we'll do subplot here and this time we want it to be 3 by 1 and we want the position of this last graph to be in 3 and we have to come back and change uh, the the rows in the previous subplot functions as well okay so we'll just end it with a semicolon semicolon and run this now you can see we have a 3 by 1 matrix within which each element is a plot. So this one, uh, y equals x plus 5 is this plot, x plus 10 is this plot, and x plus 16 is this plot. Now let's say you want to show it in a 2 by 2 matrix. So you want to have one graph, one graph, and then another graph here, and then another graph here. So you can probably imagine we want to define a two rows and two columns and you can simply just change this here two by two so two by two and we'll add on another graph which is y4 equals x plus uh, 20 let's say 
uh, this should be 15 that's what I meant but that's okay and we'll say a subplot we want a 2 by 2 matrix and this one should be in the fourth position and you can do plot x comma y4 and just to show you where the position of this is I'll plot it in red and this one the third one will plot it in blue so let's try and run this and you can see this is the plot and you can see um, we have a 2x2 two two matrix and each element is a plot and this is the first graph this is the second graph and this is the third graph so it's indicated by the blue line and the red line so it goes one two three four so you just have to be careful with that and if you want to figure out which one's which you can just use the color line and you can identify which one's is which usually it goes across and then down so you can see this is the y equals x plus 20 it's intersecting at 20 so that's how that works now let's say I want to plot um, each of these graphs uh, we'll just get rid of y3 and y4 for now and we'll just stick to two just to keep it simple let's say I want to plot uh, these two graphs on individual figures not as a subplot so what we can do is we'll just common these subplots out because we're not going to use it anymore what you have to do is simply type in figure one because we want this to be figure one and as you have probably guessed figure two for the second one and if you have another figure then you'll be figure three four and so on so if you run this now what you get is two figures and this is the first graph and this is the second graph so if you want to separate the plots into different figures then you just have to type in figure on top of the plot. If you want to plot it as a subplot then you can just simply use the subplot and all you have to do is just define the rows and the columns and the position of the graph. Okay, So that's how you do subplots and plot on different figures. So I hope you've learned something new there and uh, I'll be teaching more uh, techniques on plotting later on throughout the series. If you're enjoying these videos uh, then please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions do leave a comment and let me know. I'll see you in the next one.